How you doing, Kandorians? This is Kandor. We're here playing another Star Ocean First Departure R. Let's get into it. And before I go further into it, sorry guys, uh, like, subscribe, and comment down below and so we can finally make sure that algorithm gets toasted and they finally, finally fix the algorithm to the point where it doesn't take millions and millions of views or whatever to do something significant. The whole point about these, these channels, guys, any channels and all, is about the community, and it's you guys. You guys are the community. All I'm doing is just make sure you guys understand that I'm doing all this for all you guys as much as I am doing it for me. Whoa, what's going on? Dids. I thought there wasn't supposed to be anyone here. There weren't any life forms here, Captain, when I scanned the area. Who are you? What do you want? Have you come here to take the herbs away from us? Where did you come from? Look, you don't have to be so Stay where you are. Uh, so afraid. Uh... Well, that didn't work. Who are you? Where are you from? You're dressed really weird and I don't trust you. Well, you see, my name is Ronix J. Kenny. How can I explain this so it makes sense? Captain, huh? allow me. My name's Elia Silvestri. And please, before you say anything, I want you to know that we're not your enemy. We're here to help you. Uh -huh. Before you say anything, I want to let you know that we are not your enemy. Really? Well, they sure aren't our friends. Not these strangers. We're here to pick some of the herbs off of this mountain, that's all. I should tell you that these herbs won't stop anyone from turning into stone. How... who are you? More interested in listening to us now? All right, go. I'm sure you won't believe us at first, but we've come from a place far, far away to save all of you. So why didn't you come sooner then? We can't make direct contact with civilizations in the early stages of development. Early stages of development? We came here from beyond the sky, from another planet. We're making something of a special exception to the rule, you see. Beyond the sky? I'm not... Are you gods? No, we're not gods. We're people, just like you. Well, uh, except without the tails. Lazonia, a force opposing our own, broke the underdeveloped planet preservation pact recently and engaged in direct interference with this planet. As if that weren't bad enough, they also fired a biological weapon at you, releasing the contagion that spread across this whole area. So we're turning into stone and it's because of those Lazonia guys? Correct. I, I can't believe that... We've been sent here to examine the disease and try to find a treatment for it. So you see, we've come here to help you. Probably in ways you've never imagined. I still can't believe any of this. But can you really help? I can't really believe it either. But if you're able to save our friend here... If you come with us, and help us in creating a vaccine, we should be able to cure him. Vaccine? Um, uh, a miracle medicine, sort of. 
Well then, there's something you ought to know before we go any further. If, if you folks decide to come with us, you'll never see this planet ever again. Why not? That's what the rules say. If you interact with us too much, we can't let you go back to your original life. That's another part of the underdeveloped planet preservation pact. Now, if you'd like, we could go our separate ways, and you could pretend this was all some kind of fever dream. There is still time for that. Well, I'm going with these guys. All I've got waiting for me here is life as a statue. You can't do that. You want me to choose between losing you forever, or losing my father and everyone else forever? Don't make me do that, Dorn! Millie, let's go with Dorn, too. I'm sorry to break this to you, but there's just nothing we can do if we stay here. I know it's hard leaving everyone you know in Kratos, but we've got a bigger job ahead. We're going to save everybody. Well, it's settled then. Might as well get going. Close your eyes for a moment, please. Huh? Sensory overload, that's why. Too much for one person to, to handle all, all at once. What was that? Where are we? This is our ship. You really are gods. We're not gods. We've just advanced a little sooner than you, that's all. You can have all this for yourselves too someday. <sighs> well, let's get him over to sick bay. The floor, it's moving. And that door back there opened by itself. Incredible. I've never seen anything like this before. I just realized I haven't asked any of your names yet. My name is Roddick Ferentz. I'm Millie Cliet. Dorn... Uh, Myrtle... Uh. Captain, his condition's deteriorating. Better hurry, then. What's this? I guess this must be surprising to you, but this is how we treat sick people. See what you can do for him, Doctor. Yes, sir. Well, no point in having you hang around here. How would you like a... T Captain, that would be a violation of the Preservation Pact. Well, it's a little late for that, isn't it? I'll be on the bridge. You show him around for me. You could, you could totally tell she has always had issues with the guy just, just for pulling uh, stunts like this. It's like, really, dude? It's like you're gonna pull this crap on me right now? Seriously? Anyway, so let's get into it. Yeah, I know. I just noticed it. The other one was for this direction, so yeah.
This is the eggs of the Kalnus. The door looks pretty strong. It needs to be. Beyond this door lies an ocean stars, a world with no air. No air? That's what space is like. N none of us would survive a minute outside the shore. I don't know why they don't do that, but whatever. Yeah, there's a break. Apparently, there's a break room, and let's go with. I was like, are those tails real? It's like, I'm busy. right there it's the corpse see it's right here you can still see it the moment your blood touched it it disappeared Elia take Roddick and Millie to sick yes sir wait where did that come from just now we have these things called communicators. They let us talk to people even if we're far away from each other. Anyway, the doctor wants to see us. Let's head to sick bay. I'll get someone to clean up this mess. Is he cured? I don't know yet. Well, how is he? Don't be in... Ahem. After a thorough investigation, I have isolated and analyzed the pathogen behind the disease. I'm afraid curing this illness. Basically, we can't do anything. I apologize. You all these amazing things. Can't you... The advanced medical technology at my fingertips is precisely what allows me to declare that this is an impossible. This pathogen is in a constant state of flux, mutating at a truly breathtaking speed. Even if I could make a vaccine, it would lose its effectiveness in a matter of minutes. There is one possible method, however. Judging by the pathogen structure, I believe this to be a naturally occurring virus. So if we could track down the host, the original carrier of the disease. So that'll work. I mean... I believe... 
but he'll be turning into stone within three days. That's nowhere near enough time to find the host. Oddly enough, the body's molecular structure seems to remain perfectly intact even after the petrification process is complete. Well, that's something to work. It won't be easy, though. I doubt Lazoni is that eager to tell us where the host is. You're right. More importantly, though, I can't help but wonder, why did they even use this bioweapon on planet Roke in the first place? Roke? The name we've given your home. But Ely is right. Doctor, are there any major differences between the anatomy of Rokians and other humanoid species on other planets? Well, let me think. Their basic organic muscular and nervous systems are highly similar to humans. But there is one rather striking difference. Their blood? Precisely. The structure of their blood vastly differs from our own. The most obvious point is the hemoglobin. In humans, it is iron-based, but in Rokians, it is copper-based. What are you getting at, Elia? This is just a possibility, but perhaps there is some benefit to petrifying the Rokians after all. That would explain the motive behind dropping this bioweapon on their planet. What kind of benefit? Mm, some kind of previously undiscovered matter, maybe. You mean what? A weapon? There is that possibility. In particular, I'm talking about something that's invisible. So they're killing us off to make some kind of weapon for themselves? Well, we can't say that. It would certainly explain a lot of things, though. If that's the case, then they must be removing the petrified bodies from Roke. Let's check that prospect out first. I'll be on the bridge. Doctor, run a simulation to see if petrifying their blood results in some sort of matter that can be used for offensive purposes. Are you sure? We're talking tens of thousands of combinations. There's no other way. We've got to find out. Very well. This is what I get for whining about how boring every day was. What are you talking about? You know this isn't your fault. Well, I don't know. I mean, look at me. If I just had... The captain wants you on the bridge. Thank you. Ah, there you are. Elia has news for you. We compared the current number of petrified bodies with our previous figures. The number's gone down by about 200,000. How did they take all of them off the planet without us noticing? So it's true. We're not yet sure if they're building a weapon. But it sure is hard to imagine those bodies being used for peaceful purposes at this point. Sorry, but that uh, didn't come out right. By the way, we're returning to Earth. I'm going to go through our ambassadors and get Lazonia to hand over the host. Not that I expect them to be interested in negotiating with us in good faith. I'd like all of you to come with us and participate in the reports. Captain, Dorn's condition is worsening. I'll be right there. His vital organs have begun the petrification process. I'm afraid he's in critical condition. Dorn. Captain, there's something I want to ask you. What is it? If I'm going to die, I, I want it to happen in my own bed. You're not gonna die. You'll just be asleep for a bit. But what if you can't get that serum? <sighs> Please? All right. Get the transporter ready. Yes, sir. Please, 
Let us go. I don't know. We'll come back. We promise. All right. I'll have Elia accompany. Thank you very much. Just... I want Dorn transported directly into his bed, Doctor. This is a precision maneuver. Don't mess it up. Yes, sir. When you're ready, Elia. Yes, Captain. Listen, there was something I wanted to give you before I go. Oh, don't say that. You get the music box. I'm giving that to you, Millie. But this is your sister's. I can't take this. Take it. Please. I gave that to... It's all right. I swear we'll save you. I know this is hard, but we've got to go. He needs your help. Right. We'll be beginning our trip to planet Earth shortly. Thank you. Setting course for Sector Theta, point zero zero one. Look, Millie. It's magnificent. Beautiful. It's like an ocean of stars. We're now entering orbit to report to the Terran Al Something's coming right for us! What? What is that? Where? What are you talking about? from did it warp in or what i don't think so captain we did not detect any gravitational oscillation beforehand i told you it was coming you two were able to see it roddick that's it it's made of invisible matter the entire ship Captain, the unidentified ship that just appeared is hailing us. I'm sorry, but like the fact that it, the whole ship was made of the stuff says to me that's at least one whole village. And I'm sorry, and I, I, I it's like super bad for me to say that, especially the way I said it. But holy crap! So. Okay, so basically, long story short, guys. Long story short, guys. Uh, these Lazarian guys. There you go. Yeah, there's a third party controlling these guys. Yes, they had us at the points of their swords. Their civilization is highly advanced. They were the ones responsible for the destruction of Planet Ise half a year earlier. little idea what their goals are, but they have provided us with a wealth of new technology, including the virus. I think I understand what's happening. Regarding the viral weapon that was dropped... I'm afraid... We know that the virus has its origins in the Asmodeus, a creature that lived on planet Rogue 300 years ago. Asmodeus? That's the Archfiend! 
the monster that was defeated in the demonic wars. The stuff of legend, huh? Neither the vaccine nor the host exist in this universe any longer. I'm afraid there is little we can do about Planet Rogue. No! There's nothing to be done now. If there's no ready solution to the problem, we'll simply have to quarantine the Planet Rogue. What? You want to just watch our planet die? Roddick, calm down. The hell with that? We've done... Um... Who would have imagined they got the virus off Roke 300 years ago? There's no chance of finding... I'm... S there is one chance. It's just extremely unlikely it will actually work. You... You aren't actually suggesting we head for Planet Styx, are you? I'll find a way to get us a sh... But, sir! There's still another option? Well, I hesitate to call it that. But if we use the time gate on Planet Styx, there's... a small chance. But, Captain, you know the risks. Please tell us, we've... I didn't hear any deployment orders, Captain. Well, I have. Let us through. Yes, sir. All set here. Ready to go when you are, Captain. Right. Are two people enough for this? Oh, yeah. The computers do most of the work. Computer? Yeah. Um, how to explain it? Basically, uh, there are these tools that help people out with the difficult parts of their jobs. Anyway, let's get this thing off the ground. You do realize, Captain, that going to Planet Styx is all but guaranteeing ourselves a court-martial. Yep, worst case scenario, we'll all be in a labor camp for the rest of our lives, but too late to turn back now. All the bad luck in the world, I get stuck with you for a commanding officer. And I love how she says this with an actual smile on her face. to apologize. I may have a ton of bad luck, but that doesn't mean I'm reluctant to visit Planet Styx. I'll follow wherever you go, Captain. Just try not to lead me astray, all right? Huh. What is Planet Styx, anyway? It's a planet, just like Earth or Rogue. We stumbled upon it during an earlier deep space exploration mission. They say that Planet Styx was home to a vastly advanced civilization, long before we humans even made it into space. And that's where that time thing is? The Time Gate. We'll use it to visit Roke in the past. The past? Oh, so if we go back in time, we can retrieve the blood of Asmodeus. Then we can make the medicine we need, right? In so many words, yes. But we... We'll be within orbiting range of Planet Styx shortly. Right. Will it? According to the Lazonian emissaries, a mysterious third party obtained the virus on Rook. Apparently, it all happened several hundred years ago. That it did. The level of technology they have must outclass anything we could even imagine. We'll have to travel through time to a point before they visit...
Assuming, of course, the gate will let us through in the first place. Oh, guardian of the time gate. Please lend an ear to our humble request. We seek your guidance to the world of 300 years past. We wish to visit Roke as it was in olden times. I am the gatekeeper. Your request has been granted. Let us open the gate to the past. We did it. We need to leave our weapons and communicators here before we enter. If you bring them along, you'll bounce off the gate. Well, here we go. I hope that we're not making a mistake by entering the gate, because once we go inside, there's no turning back. Erotic. Are you sure you're all right? We must hurry. The gate is... That's a fun way to do it. here maybe then again me tripping back there threw off our timing pretty badly there's a chance we're a good distance away from each other well we picked a good place to appear let's go look for them in this village first hang on I, I just realized this outfit probably isn't gonna work here You're right. You'd stick out like a sore thumb. Why don't you wait here? I'll go find something for you. Sorry for the trouble, but imagine what the captain must be going through. Well... <laughs> I love that. They're just, just chuckling. Giving each other so much shit. The fact that we can still use our future money, that's funny. And yes, I rhymed and I didn't have the time. That one it made no sense, but whatever. I mean, I'm flattered you think that I would, but wow. Mm -hmm. um, sorry to complain, but this is way too loose on me. I don't think it'll even cover my chest. Uh, well, I'll just go like this then. Oh, are you sure? Well, there's nothing else I can do. I can't change back into what I had on earlier. Let's hurry. We need to stock up on supplies and rendezvous with the cat. I'm not really 
really sure what just happened here. <laughs> I actually want to check out the, the statuses for the characters. I mean, I like them. Hey, honestly, she looks like a she looks like a major babe. Look at her, folks. This, my dear, is my dears is Ilya. Yeah, she's a fox. Look at her. And our main character, Riddick. Like Roddick, whatever. When I think Rod Riddick is like the, you know, the guy with the weird eyes from that movie. The one that everybody assumes he can't do anything even when he's chained up. And kills everyone. Just a flick of his wrist. I cracked. I, when I saw that movie, I, I cracked up. I was like, did he just kill that one guy with... Nothing but his boot? Damn! That wasn't just the one guy that he killed, though. He, he killed, like, 13... Like, everybody around, and he's like, I'm not killing you. There's a reason why I'm not killing you. You're pretty. It's like... Wow. It's like, oh, the only one he didn't kill was the girl, and he, he basically was like... Yeah, I'm not killing you. What do I... What do I have to do after if I did and I'm like damn sorry guys I'm talking about a movie you guys didn't know it is the movie Riddick and it's I think it was one of the later ones anyway I love as you can tell I love watching movies as much as I love playing video games the first thing we need to do is visit all the nearby settlements. The captain's bound to turn up in one of them. Sounds good to me. That ain't true and you know it. Stop screwing with me, you bastard. Why do I get that? Why not? You might never know when when you can get another one. Okay. Oh, there's that guy. I know how to trigger it. Just it takes. No, I know nothing about the nearby. Bam, bam. Thank you, ma'am. North of here. Thanks, near and pop. Yeah, I gotta do that. Talk to. Adam, I heard you were looking for someone to run an errand for you over to Portmouth. Yeah, I've got some cargo I need delivered from the Portmouth weapon shop, but I can't find anyone handy who'd be up to the job. It's been kind of tough to cross Mount Maytorks lately, hasn't it? Well, I'll let you know if I find anyone who can help. I love how the only ones that match somewhat their pictures, or the when they pop up, are the main characters. Everybody else, they don't even remotely look like their little chibis. actually sell stuff. I can sell a few things. So.
Okay. There we go. See, this is what I like about this specific uh, genre, is like you could actually uh, have certain skills that would actually help you out. Like for instance, this one gives you more in intelligence, which is probably good for like more, exp uh, you know, uh, MP, you know, special attacks and stuff like that. Um, this one will help, like when you eat the berries, you'll do more, more. Th there you go. And resilience is cool. I'll do that, and then one or two of that, and then a little more resilience. There's nothing wrong with a little resilience. There you go. See, now that's what I'm talking about. Like, you could actually do that. Resilience. Knife. Definitely need to put knives. And... some decent stats for all these characters um i can update oh yeah i gotta go talk to the the seller dude he's trying to rip me off yeah Unsuspecting loser, huh? Oh, great. You again. Loose, stop messing with me, business. Shut up when I'm talking to you. Look, you guys are adventurers, right? Take it from me. This guy's sword is nothing but a big fake. I mean, if that was really an Eastern masterpiece or whatever, it would look more like a. Well, it, it wouldn't look like that. Well, anyway, just keep your guard up against this guy. He'll rob you blind. See ya. That was quite a character. Stay out of the way. I'm sorry. I just didn't think they'd actually show up. I mean, they look so green. Well, how about if I lend them one of my spare swords then, huh? That work for you? No, wait. Could you go with these guys? I'll let them go if you do. I'm just too nervous to send them out on their own. <laughs> You're the boss. Sounds like we're partners now. Want to go to Portmouth? Sorry to bother you about this. Hey, we're all in this together, right? The name's C.S. Warren. Good. My name is Roddick Ferentz. Please call me Roddick. Yeah, C.S. works for me, too. Well, uh, Roddick is the name. My name's Elia Silvestri. Glad to meet you, C.S. First names work for me, too. Well, in that case, here's your advance and the permit. Best of luck. Yeah, uh, I have this thing where it basically, every time I get a new uh, piece of equipment, it'll just 
put it, it will just equip it for me. Nine times out of ten, it's the equipment that I bought for specifically that character, so it makes sense. This ought to be a good. Let's go. I was just trying to get to that point, to this point right here. Um, I'll do a little more in the future, especially this game, because I'm actually, I actually want to do the full game on video, and it will take me a few dozen videos. Like, holy crap, because this game is actually pretty long. So, um, get ready for the next onslaught of this specific video, and this will be a promise. I will not break that promise, because this game I want to actually beat in the meantime. This is actually going to be the first um, Star Ocean game I actually beat, let alone on video. So I want to do it with you guys. So it's going to be a marathon of Star Ocean. And maybe I can do other Star Ocean games if if there's interest in this specific um, marathon and this game. So, like always, please guys, uh, like, subscribe, and comment down below. If Tell me what you guys think of these videos. Please thank you very much. I would appreciate it. Um, a little bit of feedback would help immensely in this channel. Um, and I haven't been getting any, and I'm actually kind of sore about that because like guys I'm not doing this for any other reason other than seeing if I can get any better and your comments please be constructive comments um, they to help me with these videos help me turn these videos into something cool again initially I'm only doing this for you know hobby but it, I wouldn't mind turning it into some kind of lucrative job the only reason I haven't turned it into a job yet is because, well, again, I'm trying to improve. And when I try to improve, it makes me feel better about me, you know? Like, it, it, it helps. So, you're looking for some friends, huh? That's gotta be a pain in the tail. Oh, it is. Are you traveling for any particular reason yourself? Uh, to work on my swordsmanship. Oh, you seem more than strong enough to me. <laughs> it's a big world out there, you know? Yeah, he... She's, she's not fooled. She's like... Sure. Okay, cool. Whatever. Your shtick is not my business. Well, anyway, guys, with all that, like always, be good. If you can't be good, be careful. And if you can't be careful, well, let's let's hope you're careful in the future because this world is too crazy as it is. We don't need we don't need any any loose cannons. We also don't need any more jackass videos because seriously, we've had. The reason for those guys not having what we all have, you know, like brain cells and all that, because they knock their brains clean out of their heads doing half that idiotic crap. Guys, 
those are the videos where we all look and say, yeah, this, ladies and gentlemen, is something you should not do. Even for clout. And if you do do them for clout, you're either a, an attention whore, or, well, you just don't know the value of your own life. Sorry guys, it's the truth. I've never really enjoyed watching those videos. People love them, I can't stand them because it, it, it's just the idiocies of humanity personified. It's like they don't know how to take care of themselves so they decide, you know what, I'll just endanger my life and get myself killed and have everybody laugh at me and make it seem like I'm having fun. Sorry guys, I didn't mean to get in further into that. Uh, I only meant to be a sign off, sorry guys. Um, really, really wish, and I know this is supposed to be a sign off, but I might as well just put it out there. Yes, I'm tough now. Wolf Spade. Eat it. Next day, you know you wolf out. Anyway, like I said, be good. If you can't be good, be careful. If you can't be careful, well, all the above. Anyway, take care. And like always, just be yourselves, folks. You can't be anybody else, and if you try, then you're a big fat liar. Whether I, do you think I'm sorry for that? To say that? No. There's a reason why people call those people posers is because they're not being true to themselves. Anyway, guys, take care. Love you all. Can't do it.